Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm Chris Perillo covering CES 2013 for AMD. Are you ready to see what's new from E-Ink? Color E-Ink screens. That is not a static image. It's an E-Ink screen. Now, this technology is out now, or are we yep. going to be able to pick it up in product soon? Yep, Ektaco is selling this device now. Pocketbook will be coming out with a color front light in June. Eight Unreal. Inch. So this is like what people have known the Kindle to be, only with a dash of color. That's right. So how many colors does it support? 4,096. And that's enough, really. I mean, yeah. how many can the human eye see? Really? Only 16 or something? I don't know. <laughs> Probably more than that, but And wow. how many do you need in your book? Honestly, right? honestly. It's, it's black and white. But you know what? I, I still cannot believe that is e-ink. What you've got in, in this product here... I would not lie to you. ...is e-ink. No, no. It's like bendable. Like un Unbelievable. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Flexible. Oh, no. Oh. Holy cow. And that's a working e-ink display. Yep. This is high resolution. Um, this is a 9.7 inch panel. Wow. And the first product actually on the market with Wexler. So that's another... Whoa! Super oh, rugged. A little insane and very nice too. I mean, how many people would want to drop their devices? Wow. So this is happening. Yeah. This so is this like is for real. sale in the market right now in Russia. Oh, in Russia. Yes. So I have in to move Russia. to Russia to get a flexible. No, I bought display. it. On, I bought it on the way. Ah, so okay. So you can get about the, the interwebs, it, right? Yeah, exactly. It works. Wow. Flexible e ink, color e ink. Um, is there anything more you guys are working on? Yeah, I um, have a EPD LCD phone. So this is just a prototype. Ah. But Yoda Phone put out a press release a couple weeks ago. So if you go to their website, you can see video, um, all the images. So on one side, it's e-ink. Yep. On the other side, it's a traditional capacitive smart screen. Yep. Wow. That is hot. Yep. Okay. All right, and I got one more for you. Oh, and it gets better. I was not expecting any of this. Oh, my God, look. The bendable display. I love eating. I serious. I want someone to develop. Oh wait, this is working. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's something. Fendro e e e this is an Android e oh, phone. Yep. Okay. Um, now I've seen go. everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but that <laughs> is impressive. The fact that even if, is this working? Like a it prototype. Works. Prototype. It works. You can put a SIM card in it and you can use it. I just. Dude, I'm, that looks insanely lightweight too. I like it no doesn't even exist. It. It's quite alright. I but saw it flash. It's 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 yeah. It's working. If you go on the website, there is. There we go. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now I, I'm a like I said, fan of e-ink, especially for reading. Uh, really want to see someone develop a Instagram photo frame on e-ink. I would love that. Low power, long battery life. Oh, it's Android. Yeah. Although I I can't read the text there. Oh, that's the big social network, isn't it? Yep. Wait okay. I, I, I knew that. <laughs> wow. Dude. So that band that I pointed to a couple of seconds ago, it's apparently currently a Kickstarter project. Yes. And you're the co-founder of the Kickstarter project. Yes, I am. So Dave tell Vondel. us more about this. So the... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you yeah, saying your okay. name. David Vondel. Got it? Yep. Um, yeah, I'm the co-founder, and what we've done is we've taken the best qualities of an e-ink display and put them into a, a wristwatch um, that really shows off the qualities of the ink display. So, And this is active. So I, I, I was trying to get it there so when it turns to 704, right. you can see that it's not just a regular band. Okay. Yeah, it just switched, so it's going to be oh, another minute. Oh, great. Okay, I'll come back to your face. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, you're it's okay. far more handsome than I. So you're on Kickstarter. Yes. And the project name is? is uh, we're Central Standard Timing, and the project is CST01. The watch is called that. And uh, it uses the ink display, like I said. Also, uh, the thing that, sh that powers it is the microenergy cell from a company called Thinergy, which is also a very impressive piece of, of a product. It'll last for 15 years, uh, 30 days on a single charge, and it'll charge in 10 minutes. Um, so, yeah, it's a really remarkable project, or, and uh, I'm really excited to get it out there. So, okay, so I, now it's been about a minute or so, so I'm going to focus in there on that again. Uh, any chance of this, instead of being, a, 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 I guess, the shape that it is now, there you go. It flashed, it flashed me. Your, your watch <laughs> just flashed me. Um, is there like a slap band? Possible? No, it's, it's not bi stable like, uh, okay. uh, like one of those. Because uh, I love those. I love, yeah, I love those like slap band things. Yeah, it'll, 
it, it, it flexes enough to get it on and off of your wrist. Um, and we, we are still going to do more studies about how much you can flex it uh, as, as things proceed. So we've gotten to a point where we felt conf confident enough in the design uh, that it's doable, it's robust, it works, that we can put it on Kickstarter and, and start funding the real manufactured products. Well, hopefully you'll find a few new backers with this video. Okay, thank you.